if you're new, I'm Mina and welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking about my experience getting a Roblox internship offer. Very quickly piecing my other videos all sound like a broken record, but just to let you know, this is the fourth video in a series that I'm doing discussing my internship application experience. So the first video, it was just like my general tips on how to land a software engineering internship. Then I did a video over Amazon as well as Capital One, and this is obviously the video for Roblox. And the video right after this is going to be my reveal of which internship program I'm choosing to partake in for next summer. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out those videos as well. I linked the playlist down in the description. All right, so let's go ahead and get straight into this video. So literally I was checking every single day waiting for this application to come out because Roblox was one of the top companies that I wanted to work for. And it ended up coming out on August 2nd. So for those of you who are applying in the coming years and you're watching this video, make sure you check for the application late July or early August to get into the pipeline as soon as possible. So I applied on August 2nd and almost immediately got the online assessment invitation email. So I don't know if they just send this email to everyone or if they do some resume parsing first. It's probably the latter, but I'm not entirely sure. I did the online assessment on August 2nd right as soon as I got it. Roblox's online assessment is pretty unique because it consists of three parts. So it consists of the coding challenge as well as two cognitive assessments. To quickly talk about the coding challenge first, it consisted of either three to four questions. I don't fully remember, but they were around medium leak code level. So definitely not a breeze, but definitely doable as well. So I was able to pass every test case for every problem. And then for the cognitive assessments, I had no idea what to expect. I was doing some research on Reddit, just trying to figure out what I could do in order to prepare for these. And the consensus was kind of that you can't really prepare for them because it is more of like an IQ test where they're just testing the way that you think. Well, our cognitive assessment measures skills like creative problem solving, situational awareness, and systems thinking. I was really happy to hear that because I wanted to have like a concrete way to prepare for these assessments. But after seeing those posts, I had decided to just go online and just kind of hope for the best. So I don't know how much I'm able to actually say about the contents of these assessments. So I don't want to say too much, but I would say that they were pretty challenging for me. And to be honest, after taking those, I didn't think that I would get the offer to do a final interview because for the first assessment, I had no idea what I was doing. Basically the time was almost up. So I literally just put whatever I could think of by no means were the answers right at all like I literally just put in random things and then for the second assessment it was like a you do as many as you possibly can kind of thing and I was only able to make three models I don't know how that compares to other applicants but personally I didn't think that that was very good and I didn't think that I would get a final interview offer unless my coding assessment was able to pull me through which is what I think happened so then after I took the online assessments I waited several weeks didn't hear anything back and then finally I got an email basically saying we're still looking through your cognitive assessments and you should hear back from us within four days. And then I waited the four days, I waited like a week and a half, still didn't hear anything. So at that point, I had fully believed that I had just gotten rejected from Roblox. But then I did get another email on September 13th saying that I got the offer to do a final interview. So the way that Roblox's final interview works is it consists of two parts, each 45 minutes long. So there's the behavioral as well as the technical. For the behavioral interview, I don't really have any specific tips. It was a pretty generic behavioral interview. So if you want my general tips, make sure you watch some of my previous videos within the series. But then for the technical, I would say it was around like a medium to hard level leak code problem. I really struggled more than I had on any other technical assessment that I've done for other companies. Basically, I spent like two minutes literally just being silent because I was just trying to think through any sort of solution. And basically after two minutes, I told my interviewer that I'm not fully sure if the solution can work because I didn't fully think it out yet, but I just want to get started and put something down so I can work through it. So then after my two minutes of thinking, I spent like probably about 25 to 30 minutes actually implementing a solution. And I had something that was pretty much working, but there were still a few bugs that I had to work out. And I would say around like the 40 minute mark, I was finally able to get a working solution. I don't know if solving the problem in around 40 minutes is typical for Roblox interviewees, but I just wanted to to give you like a general idea and what happened for me. So after I did the final interview on September 29th, I got an email from my recruiter on October 4th, just saying that they wanted to quickly do 
do a follow-up call after the interview. And after my Capital One experience, I had expected an offer at that point. And basically he had told me over the phone that I had gotten the offer. So I was really, really happy about that. Make sure you're on the lookout for my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.